I know this is unpopular in, in churches which want to highlight and emphasize grace, and we want to do that. God cares about obedience, all right? Grace does not mean obedience doesn't matter. God passionately cares about his people living in obedience to him. We're not talking about how we're saved, are we? We're talking about how the people of God live. The people of God, like Samuel, say, what does God require of me? And we devote ourselves to it. Because that's what we've been saved for. But, but also, notice that the Lord in this passage judges disobedience. See, not only does he care about obedience, he cares about disobedience in the opposite sense. Just think about how long, I said earlier, how long it was for the Amalekites. Justice was met, brothers and sisters. Justice was met. Now, sometimes that justice comes swiftly, doesn't it? Someone sleeps around and gets an STD. In certain states, someone murders someone and they get the death penalty. Sometimes justice comes swift. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the judgment of God is delayed. He is put off. The final judgment is delayed. As, as we're told in the New Testament, for a a year is like a thousand years, and a thousand years but a day to the Lord. But the day of judgment will one day come where God will punish all rebellion and disobedience. The world hates this message, brothers and sisters, but it's just true. It's just true. Hell is a place, and people are going to get sent there unless they flee to Christ. You see, God is so passionate about his justice and judgment that he even punished Jesus Christ. 